It's Tony Tone Show on Vintage Sound 93.1 FM from the Unity Point Health Studios. I have a fantastic job because I get to interview fascinating people, people that I admire, people in the community, and of course, actors and actresses. And on the MPW Digital TV Celebrity Hotline right now, Lily Taylor, who stars in American Crime, which airs at 9 o'clock Central tonight on ABC. She's terrific. I'm so excited. Lily, how are you? Good. How are you doing? I'm fantastic. Thank you for taking the time. I really appreciate it. You bet. So um, this is a show, American Crime, that my wife and I watch. And Lily, I don't know if you're aware of this or not, but that show is intense. Oh, my gosh. (laughs) I know. I know it is. But you know what's interesting, though? I think think it's very intense, but I don't feel like it's... um unmanageable mm-hmm. like you know there's some shows or it can some things things can get too intense that it's too much for us right but i don't think it's too much do you no you know, i i agree with what you're saying it is it's definitely manageable but it's something like okay so we get ready to watch it on wednesdays at nine o'clock central on abc and i i guess i don't know what to expect so that kind of lends me my mind to wander like I'm not prepared for what's going to happen each and every week. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. Um, It's actually kind of refreshing because a lot of these shows are just mindless. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's a good point. I mean, so that in itself, it's just, it's a little, it's a little bit, it's not like harder, it's not harder work, but it's, it's more challenging because also John Ridley's doing so many different things with the show. Like for me, I think I get it. And then all of a sudden he, turns it and my brain is sort of like wait a minute it's sort of tr- the neurons are sort of refiring and trying to <laughs> reroute and it's good it's good but it's not easy yeah i was going to say so as an actress i mean obviously you're you're playing a role with american crime but you know out of all the things that you've done and i'm going to get to a few of them in a second i mean has american crime challenged you in ways that you maybe haven't been challenged before absolutely for sure i mean first off i mean john John is a great collaborator. He's also has a really great work ethic, and he he demands a lot, and I do too. And so I'm I'm right there with him. I'm I'll meet his level of of integrity, but it requires an authenticity. It requires a truth, uh, a commitment. Um, so you know, with that being said, you know, it, I got to go all the way, and um, and. You know, the first day I had to make that 911 call from the first episode, that first day, the first thing up, and I was just like, okay, John, if this is how <laughs> it's going to be from here on, I, I understand. It's going to be, I got to buckle up. Oh, my know? gosh. Right. Yeah. I was going to, I was going to say it's, <laughs> oh, my gosh. It's absolutely nuts. Um, so we love American crime, and I definitely got to pay you a compliment because in 2013, when The Conjuring came out, uh, my wife, Casey, and I, we went to the movie theater right down the street from the radio station. And that movie, Lily, scared... And I'm... Listen, I'm 32. I'm 6'5", 300 pounds. I'm a big guy. The Conjuring scared the crap out of me. It was... <laughs> it was so unnerving. Uh, J- James Wan, he's a genius, isn't he? Genius. 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 I mean, come on. He, after Conjuring, he goes off and does The Fast and the Fury. Right. And I knew he was going to do a great job with that. Right. You know? Yeah. It, uh, it's he at- could do anything. He right. could do anything. So when you're making a movie like The Conjuring and uh, uh, it just came it came together so well, did you know at the time when you're filming that, and I know it's been a few years, could you tell that, that it was going to be such a, a, a smash hit that it was? Yeah. I would have been surprised if it wasn't because I could tell – because just James knew what he was doing. His his vision, his 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 ability to execute it was so from his head to his toes. Mm-hmm. You know, the crew was getting along well. The spirit was great, even though it was twenty million or whatever, fifteen. It felt like an independent, you know, and in that we were all collaborating together. Um, it was all special effects, so it was no computer stuff. Mm-hmm. And I just knew. I could feel that people are ready for that, and it's so clear. I mean, I think Star Wars had very little also. And when we were at Comic-Con with The Conjuring, you know, there was like 2,000 people. We were showing a little teaser, and when James said, you know, there's no no CGI, like, everyone was like, yeah! (laughs) You know, because we're we're tired of it, because we have an imagination. 
Yeah. And we don't need all that computer stuff, you know? Right. No. Yeah, you're absolutely right. The practical effects are so great. Um, so do, are you a, do you find yourself, Lily, as a fan of the horror genre? Because, I, I, and I, I didn't know this until I just saw it, but you're in Leatherface, which is coming out soon. Um, another uh, in, intense movie, I'm sure. But, but personally, outside of when you're acting, do you, do you enjoy horror films? I love them. And, and I think I, I've always had this feeling that they're good for us. And I actually just read a, a study that, that, that people have seen a horror film. It's almost as if they just worked out at the gym or something. They, hmm. they, they, they're like they leave in a better state yeah. than when they went in. Because I think, first of all, we, we still like to see them together, mm-hmm. you know, in a group. So it's a collective thing. And I just think it gives us a way to have mastery over our fears, and we know we're safe, uh, pretty much, right. you know, when we're in the theater. You know, <laughs> though someone did faint, or someone passed out at one of the Conjuring um, uh, uh, screenings. Oh, my god! They had to be carried off in a stretcher. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> so, so is it is it you know with with American Crime and Leatherface and uh, Maze Runner two of the Scorch Trials, are you are you looking for some comedic relief in any upcoming roles, Lily? <laughs> do, you, do you find yourself needing to laugh, maybe? Oh God, yeah. Um, I'll tell you. I mean, all this work is very fulfilling to me. I think really any serious actor wants to get in there and and do do some some deep work it's it's gratifying it's fulfilling the collaboration is great but yes i do need to balance things out um but in some ways the the satisfaction of the good work it sort of does balance out that the heaviness Mm -hmm. but like for instance i was i found uh, this karaoke place in austin when we were shooting and i found i was going a lot by myself (laughs) um you know, and that that was helping me a lot because, uh, you know, the show is it's it's totally heartbreaking. It's right. heavy, you know. It's oh hard. yeah, it's heavy. Yeah. But uh, no, I'd like to do a comedy, even a musical. Yeah, I'd love to do a musical next if I could. You know? <laughs> I think that's a great. I think it's a great idea. If you're just tuning in, that's Lily Taylor on the MPW Digital TV Celebrity Hotline talking American crime tonight, 9 o'clock on ABC. One of the last questions I want to ask you, given the opportunity. How much would you enjoy working with Michael C. Hall again? Six Feet Under was a great show. Then he goes and does Dexter. I've never talked to the guy. I've never met him. Seems like a really good guy. He is. You know, it's funny. You, you, I hope you get to talk to him. He's great because, you know, he's in New York. He does a lot of theater. And I actually did just do a little uh, film with my friend Stephen Elliott, who's, who's he's a writer, Adderall Diaries, Happy Baby. Yeah. He's done a couple of movies. Okay. And, um... So Michael C. Hall, uh, he played um, a director, and I played an actor, and um, we were, uh, you know, across from each other, and it was, it hadn't been, you know, it's been since whatever, whenever Six Feet Under was, so we were just looking at each other, and um, <laughs> I, I love him. I think he's great. I love that you mentioned him, and I, I hope you get to talk to him, because you will not be disappointed. He's a, he's a great actor. Well, Lily, listen, I'm excited that I got to talk to you because American Crime is a huge hit. And, uh, I mean, I could go on and on about the things you've done and the things you're going to do. But I just want to say thank you, and I wish you nothing but continued success. Thank you. Have great a gr- interview. Thank yeah, you. Have a great day, and we'll uh, catch you on American Crime. And I hope that it becomes a little less intense, please. <laughs>